Hi there, I'm Stephen Morad, and this is PopGym, benchmarking partially observable reinforcement learning. So data sets like MNIST and CIFAR have driven countless advances in supervised and unsupervised learning. It's fast to train on these data sets, which makes it easy to iterate on your models. They provide a single objective metric like accuracy for classification, which makes it easy to compare with competing methods. And most importantly, it allows researchers to trust and reproduce papers. Remember, if it can't be reproduced, then it's not science. We've seen a similar emergence of benchmarks or collections of tasks and environments in reinforcement learning. For example, we have Atari 2600, Mujoko, and Jim, each which contain a large number of tasks. Unfortunately, nearly all tasks in these benchmarks are fully observable Markov decision processes, also known as MDPs. Nearly all real-world tasks are partially observable MDPs, or POMDPs. If there's any sort of noise, ambiguity, or missing information from an observation, then your process is no longer an MDP, it's a POMDP. In RL, we solve POMDPs using memory, but there are no comprehensive POMDP benchmarks, and so there's not really a good way to measure the progress of memory in reinforcement learning. So we propose partially observable process gym, or pop gym for short. It's a collection of 45 partially observable tasks and a set of 13 memory model baselines. Pop gym tasks are fast. They run between 20,000 and half a million frames per second, which allows us to train memory-based policies to convergence in just a few hours on a single GPU. Our tasks are also diverse. We have control tasks, noisy tasks, card games, navigation tasks, board games, and more. Finally, many of us know that some RL libraries can be difficult to install or maintain. Our PopGym tasks are written entirely in Python and require only NumPy and Gymnasium as dependencies, making it easy to get started. We provide 13 memory model baselines consisting of recurrent neural networks, memory augmented neural networks, transformers, state space models, and convolution. We ran the largest scale POMDP study to date by executing experiments over all, all permutations of PopGym tasks and memory baselines, resulting in over 1,500 separate trials. We propose the MMER metric, which is a single score across the whole benchmark, akin to something like classification accuracy on MNIST. Here are our results. On the left, we plot the MMER normalized by the best and worst performing models on each environment, where higher is better. And on the right, we provide the raw MMER for each model. Quickly going through the models on the left, from left to right, we have MLP, an MLP with positional encoding, two linear transformers, a state space model, convolutional networks, frame stacking from the Atari paper, five recurrent neural networks, and a memory augmented neural network. One of our most surprising findings was that supervised learning is actually a really poor proxy for RL performance. We found the GRU performed best on average, and it was also robust across task domains. The GRU and other simple and old RNNs like LSTM or Elman networks beat much newer and supposedly better models from supervised learning, such as state-space models and transformers. Another surprising finding was that navigation and partially observable control tasks alone are insufficient to properly benchmark memory. Under certain conditions, we found that memory-free MLPs and positional MLPs can solve these tasks and even outperform memory models. Lots of prior work on memory experiments exclusively on navigation or mask control tasks, bringing into question the validity of these studies. Finally, we found that on certain tasks, memory models converge to the same reward as the MLP, suggesting that it may not be the model that's the problem, but perhaps the learning algorithm itself. Future work could look at PPO and suggest tweaks to improve its performance on POMDPs. PopGym is now publicly available on GitHub. Here's the link, so please check it out and either email me or file an issue if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks.